Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Noreen Aguirre. I would like to thank you guys for, for all the love and support that you guys have are giving me and sharing these videos, taking the time to view them and subscribe. Thank you guys. I pray that God blesses you guys in such a big way. At this time, I would like to share with you, we are on dream number 14, which I entitled it, The Coming of the Lord. And this dream, I was... I was laying in bed, I was asleep, and I just heard very loud and clear um, the thumps of horses. I mean, it was so loud that I jumped up off of bed. I, you know, as I was sleeping, I just heard the, 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 the like marching horses just right in my ear, so loud and clear, like if they just marched right past me. And I jumped up off a of bed and I was like looking around to see, you know, where was it coming from? I looked at the TV. I thought I left the TV on and everything was quiet in my room. So I looked out the window and I'm looking to see, oh my God, did we have, do we have horses surrounding my house? I mean, that's how loud and clear it was. I was like, for sure that I was going to see horses. Um, and so I would like to share these Bible verses with you. This first one is in Revelation 19, 11, And it reads, Then I saw heaven open, and a white horse was standing there. Its rider was named Faithful and True. For he judges fairly in his wages and wages a righteous war. This next verse I would like to share with you is in 2 Samuel 5:23, the second Samuel 5:23. And it reads, "And again David asked the Lord what to do. This is what the Lord applied, replied, "Do not attack them straight on." The Lord replied, "Instead, circle around behind and attack them near the poplar tree. When you hear a sound like marching feet in top in the tops of the poplar tree, be alert." That will be the signal that the Lord is moving ahead of you to strike down the Phil Philistines' army. Amen. Praise God. I wanted to say this uh, dream happy um, with a cheerful heart, but um, I have to say that my heart's heavy today. Um, as I was reading, preparing preparing to share this dream with you in, in prayer. Um, God has placed a heaviness on my heart for the lost. Just reading um, on Facebook all the comments and everything going on at the moment. You know, people attacking everybody, each other. You know, it, it's not about judging anyone. It's about sharing who God is and God's love. He, he is the judge of, of us all. We cannot judge because then us two will be judged. Our job is to love everybody reg regardless of what anyone does, you know. So I wanted to share with you those Bible verses and, and to let you know, um, you know, you guys might think that we're, we're silly for the people that don't know any know or, or ever experience anything that, that I'm trying to explain to you. But God is coming soon. I cannot stress this enough. We're running out of time and we need to share with people who God is. That's why I, I encourage you guys to share these videos so that way, you know, people get to experience Him. They get to give their life to Him. For those who who don't know who he is, I would like to share a prayer with you at this time. If you can bow your heads, if if you want to give your life to God at this time and he's tugging at your heart, please don't waste any more time because tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. So please bow your heads and, and for those who, who are children of God already, just bow your head and pray with me. Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you, Father God, for this opportunity, Father God, for bringing me your word and your message, Father. I ask, Father God, that, that you place in my heart an understanding for this dream, Father God, that I heard, and for all the other dreams, Father God, 
that you tug at my heart and you give me the wisdom and the desires, Father God, to seek you, Lord. I ask you to forgive me for my sins, Lord, for anything bad I said or done or even thought of. I ask for you to come into my heart and make it your home. I thank you, Father God, for sending your son to die on the cross so that I may live. I ask that you help me, Father God, live a good life, Father God, a life that is honoring to you, Father. Father God, I ask that you give me the wisdom and the desires, Father God, that come from you, Lord, so that I may live a prosper, blessed life, Father God, pleasing to you, Lord, and to do all that you call me to do. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Um, as these streams are going farther along, it's getting a little bit harder and more difficult. Um, there's so much that God wants to, sh that is sharing, telling me, and the time is so little. So I ask that you guys continue seeking God. If it was your first time saying that prayer, reach out to, to a church um, that you can grow closer to God. Continue reading your Bible little by little. He'll give you the wisdom and the discernment. And what is he trying to say? Because the Bible is God's word. And that's really all we need is, is to go by his word and what he tells us to do. So let's not get in, discouraged. Um, you know, they, they persecuted him. They would do the same to us. Um, there's people that don't understand the message that we're we're out there proclaiming and who we believe in, but that's okay. It's it's not for everyone to accept. Those who hear his voice, those who know his voice will hear it. So I, I just pray for, for everyone out there to keep seeking God. Because those horses that I heard, those horses that I heard were so loud and clear. And he is coming. And he is coming. And he is going to defend us and go before us. So we don't need to worry. And we don't need to fear. For our God is the one that's going to win the battle. I thank you guys for tuning in. And go over those Bible verses again. Um, there's more to the verse. I'd like to leave you guys with um, John 8, 32, and it reads, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Amen. Thank you guys out there for your love and support again. And please tune in next Tuesday to hear number 15. Thank you guys for sharing and subscribing. God bless you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.